Welcome to the Live Leadership Podcast with myself, Leela Singh. All things coaching, career and personal branding. This podcast is for ambitious career professionals like you, wanting to create a life of choice and freedom, to be, do and have more through overcoming limitations, to develop new perspectives and insights and to redefine your success, be that in work, health, relationships, and so much more. Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching from in the world today. Welcome to Live with Leela. My name is Leela Singh. I'm an executive career and personal brand coach, and I work with career professionals, typically in the technology industry, who are looking to overcome their limitations and uncover their unique potential to create new possibilities and opportunities, all whilst showing up as the best version of themselves, what I call life leadership. For many of you today, you may be celebrating Valentine's Day, so I'd love to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. So today, what are we talking about? We're going to talk about Valentine's Day. And my question for you today is on this day, on Valentine's Day, how much are you loving yourself? How much love are you showing yourself? Because here's the thing, on Valentine's Day, many of us take the opportunity to express your love for your partners or to let someone know how you feel about them, to express the love and the care that you have for another person and that's a beautiful thing to do and I believe that we could actually be doing that every day we don't have to wait for Valentine's Day to come around in order to do that um, but yeah today is a day that many people celebrate and make extra special the question I have for you is how often do you take time to express love to and for yourself. In other words, to tell yourself how much you're loved and how truly amazing you are as an individual and to be kind to yourself. And the reason I'm raising this is because so often we don't. Most of us do not slow down and take the time to love ourselves, to be kind to ourselves, and to talk to ourselves in a loving way, because it's easy not to. And we, we often overlook the way that we talk to ourselves, whether that's in our heads, in other words, our inner dialogue, or outwardly. We beat ourselves up. We are our, our own best critic and we can be our own best judge we judge ourselves we put ourselves down we're the first one to put ourselves down before anyone else has a chance often telling ourselves that we're not good enough we're not smart enough we're not likable we're not attractive we're not skinny enough or fit enough or something fill in the gap enough right or we tell ourselves that we failed. And we put all of these labels on ourselves, them labels, their meanings that we give ourselves. And by doing so, we're influencing or we're creating our own identity. Okay, so no matter what other people say to us, or what they think of us or share their opinions and their judgments and their criticisms, which can hurt. The question to slow down to is how are you talking to yourself? How loving and how kind and understanding are you being of you? How often do you speak lovingly to yourself? And how often do you beat yourself up? or criticize yourself or judge yourself or tell yourself that you should be doing more and being more and you're just not good enough 
or the whatever the enough is, right? So give some thought to that because it's a lot easier sometimes to actually reach out and tell other people how much you love them. And as I said, that's a beautiful thing to do. Slow down and check in with yourself. How much are you loving yourself? And if you're not, then why not? Everything starts from within. Everything comes from within. I often talk about this, that the change comes from within. And wanting love and seeking love starts with seeking love within yourself. And you might be thinking, well, how is this relevant to anything that I talk about day to day? And usually when I post on social media, well, it is because love connects everyone. Love connects you with yourself. Love brings us all together and love showing up from a place of love in everything that we do will create a very different experience for us and a different outcome. And that is why this is so important. And it's it's really important to recognize how you're treating yourself because change starts from within. So slowing down to this and recognizing that, recognizing that actually how much am I loving myself? How much love do I show myself? And a, a quick example I can give you here is um, I've had both friends and clients who say that they want to meet a partner. They want to be in a relationship. But yet they have no love for themselves, no belief in themselves. They're beating themselves up. They're really harsh on themselves. So if you're being that way, is that how you want to be when you're attracting someone into your life? Are you looking for someone to help fix you? Or would you like to be that loving person who loves yourself and respects yourself and believes in yourself and attracting somebody who compliments you in that way. Because energetically how we're showing up reflects the people that we attract into our life. And if you're looking for a loving relationship, that loving relationship starts with your relationship with yourself. So I'd love for you to, to check in with yourself and, and ask yourself some of these questions and just really look at honestly how loving and kind are you being to yourself right now. So think about who are you being for you? Not for other people, but for you. And maybe if you're really stuck with this is think about, okay, consciously creating some positive statements about yourself. How do you talk to yourself? What do you say about yourself? Do you say that I am not X or bleep enough? I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not intelligent enough. I'm not beautiful enough or etc. Or can you change that around and say I am because the words I am are so, so powerful. So create three statements for yourself. You can create more, but start with three. I am statements. I am beautiful. I am loving. I am intelligent. I am smart. I am hardworking. I am talented. I am loved. Um, I'm listened to. There's so many things, right? Start with three and start to talk to yourself in that way, in a positive way affirming, loving way and start to notice how that feels because a lot of the uh, inner dialogue, the inner self-talk that we do, we're almost doing it unconsciously. We naturally criticize and judge and beat ourselves up and then we feel not so good and then we wonder why and we're creating all of that. So showing up in the world from a place of love and affirming that to yourself through your I am statements can have an impactful feel to your emotions, to how you then show up for other people. And that then starts to shift your experiences. 
So slowing down to how you speak to yourself. Become aware of what you actually say to yourself. How do you talk to yourself? Because this will create your day to day experiences. Everything starts from within and everything starts with you. So I invite you to slow down and to really begin to connect with yourself and to talk to yourself in a beautiful, loving way. Because instead, what we tend to do is we distract. We distract and we look for things and people outside of us to make us feel better. When actually we're in total control of that and we can do that for ourselves. Just by becoming aware and building that awareness of how we currently talk to ourselves and thinking about actually how can I, how can I do this differently? How can I be more positive or self-affirming of who I really am? What do I want to create or who do I want to create as the person I'm showing up as in the world? Is it that I am beautiful? I am loved. I am listened to. I am talented. Because it's all well and good to be showering other people with love. That's great. It's beautiful. But start by loving yourself. Because your whole experience, your day to day, your reality will start to shift massively. We'll build greater connection with ourselves. We have less distraction. And by the way, we're less influenced and affected and impacted by what other people say about us when they criticize us or judge us. If we love ourselves or when we love ourselves, because when we love ourselves, and we create that person that we believe we truly are, it's a lot harder for other people to bring you down. So if you know I am talented, I am beautiful, I am smart, and someone says something to you to suggest that you're not, well, actually, I know I am. I live in that certainty. I'm from that place of certainty. So it's really, really powerful to, to check in and look at the language that you use, the, the way that you talk to yourself. And as I said, we're very unconscious to this. So start to build an awareness of how you talk to yourself, whether that's reflecting on, on situations, reflecting on conversations that you have, journaling at the end of the day and reflecting on what occurred and what went well and what didn't. And tune into the language that you're using and the conversations that you have with yourself. And what are you telling yourself? I am, what am I? not enough or am I enough? And then start to consciously reframe the language, the statements that you're making to yourself day to day and bigging yourself up. Why not? When you start to big yourself up, other people will too. It'll help you to love yourself, to believe in yourself. And guess what? When you do that, when you believe in yourself, when you love yourself, other people will too. They'll love you too. They'll believe in you more because you believe in yourself. Why should other people love and believe in us when we don't believe in ourselves? And you get to attract even more love into your world. So there are a number of takeaways here um, from what I'm sharing thinking about the language that you're using, the way that you're talking to yourself, the beliefs that you have about yourself. How can you reframe them? How can you turn them into a positive? Who do you want to be? What's your identity you want to create? Think about all of those things and start to show up in the world to situations, to your, whether it's to, to interactions with family, with colleagues, in the workplace, showing up from a place of love and understanding and kindness, not only for others, but for yourself. And don't be so quick to beat yourself up and put yourself down and start to notice how you feel. Start to notice and recognize the impact, the effects of this. Make a note of it. 
whether you just keep notes on your phone or you write it in a notebook or a journal, whatever works for you, make it easy and simple for yourself. So I love to wish you all an amazing Valentine's Day. Remember to wish yourself lots of love, to start affirming the amazing person that you are, the beautiful, talented, smart individual that you are in this world, to recognize that, to slow down to the way that you're talking to yourself, the language that you're using, and to start to notice how different you feel when you change the way that you talk to yourself. And when you start to really, truly connect and love yourself. And until next time, remember to elevate your performance, maximize your potential and create new possibilities by showing up as the best version of you. Take care and I will see you same time, same place next week. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to this podcast if you haven't already done so. And if you enjoyed and gained value from today's episode, then do please leave a review telling us your key learnings and what you enjoyed the most. And do please share this podcast with your friends and colleagues so we can spread the word on life leadership, creating a life of choice, freedom and new possibilities. Connect with me directly on LinkedIn. And if you would like to learn more about how we can work together, either DM me on LinkedIn or email.